we feel clearly the Chinese authorities would like to at least contain the pace of escalation of conflicts with the U.S. The national, uh, the national day is uh, an important day, but in the context of this uh, big um, trade negotiation with the U.S. or e even including the Hong Kong situation, the phase issue is not as important as many people have thought. Uh, I, I think a very important piece is uh, the interview by uh, the Global Times uh, uh, chief uh, editor yesterday that talking about phase is important, but uh, uh, like on the back of more critical issues, phase is not as important as people might thought. So at this stage, uh, we feel that uh, China do want to defuse some of the um, the, the tension both with the U.S. and uh, obviously would like to calm down the situation in Hong Kong as well. But there are no, uh, there, 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 there would indeed be quite limited issues uh, that China can do on its own without the collaboration uh, uh, from the other parties. Well, are you talking then about U.S. China or U.S. Uh, or China Hong Kong? Both. So uh, from China U.S. Uh, Perspective. I think China has tried to calm down the situation by signaling that they're not going to come up with immediate further retaliation uh, on the back of the claimed uh, additional 5% tariff on all Chinese exports to the U.S. Uh, and in the Hong Kong situation, uh, at this stage, uh, we, we still feel that China would like Hong Kong to resolve the issue uh, locally. Mm. Okay. All right. When it comes to uh, uh, just breaking those two issues up, because of course they're both uh, uh, quite big issues, uh, Becky, when we look at Hong Kong and the social unrest there, uh, what sort of Im impact do you think that this is going to have on e economic growth uh, going forward? And how much pa patience does China have, given, you know, we saw routine movements in the military yesterday, which Xinhua was re reporting anyway as routine movements. They were movements nonetheless, and I'm sure there was a message in there somewhere. Uh, for Hong Kong's economic growth, I think uh, on the street or including ourselves, the, uh, the expectation has already been quite low. So people are looking for a potential technical recession in the third quarter and for the full year, uh, broadly on the street, uh, has been lower, uh, lowering the annual GDP to about 0.3 to 0.4% this year. So we do uh, expect more challenge ahead and especially Hong Kong is such an open economy, even without the local social events uh, uh, by the China-US trade tension alone, that's going to trim quite a lot of growth from Hong Kong um, uh, by itself. And uh, with regards to China's uh, reaction in the recent days, uh, we feel that a continuing uh, of uh, signaling that China is able to intervene if they really want to, but at this stage we still feel they would like to um, uh, have the constraint. Uh, 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 to, to still want Hong Kong to resolve the issue by itself, uh, especially uh, if we look at one of the consequences uh, when China was labeled by the, uh, as a right. currency manipulator by the U.S., we saw right. that actually uh, why this, uh, the, the situation is so low is because some of the sanctions had been put on since 1989 and has not been removed. So definitely China do not want to test that again unless they have to. Hi, I'm Emily Tan and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.